Testing one, two, three, guys. Testing one, two, three. Yo, what's up? Welcome to me. Yo, what's up? Welcome to Venkabot. Uh, Slim Fast Shakes and uh, and uh, the seventh guest to action. My name is Dave, guys. It's our last thing of the game here for Spooky Ass October. We've been playing the game now for quite a few hours tonight. I only wanted it to be for a little while, but uh, it's just too addictive. It's too frustrating. It's hard to put it down once you feel like you're getting into a puzzle. I'm trying to solve this stupid puzzle. You guys are, if you guys are curious about the image we're making, here it is. Soak it in. It's the burn down mansion. It's like the cover art for the game, but the castle's burned down instead of it, you know, the mansion's being burned down instead of uh, being built up. It randomizes it here. Good night, Venka Cox. There's a grill up him. Dick Dickerson out. Yeah, rest well, grill. Don't leave for the bits, dude. Rest well. Thanks for coming back. I don't think it's, I'm not sure it's really randomized. I think that it's, uh, it has, it's, I think that it's set to be a certain position from the start. Yeah, why, Katie? Why? Like, wait, we're trying to make that image? Wait, 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 no, Katie, no! No! We're trying to make them all the same thing. For some reason, I can't explain. It's very easy to make it all the same thing, except for one spot. Or two spots, or four spots. It's always those. It's always those scenarios. Yeah, good luck, Rilla Pimp. Godspeed, sir. Good luck getting those shoes. I know you love shoes. I also love shoes, guys. Only if a woman just recently took them off. Then I'm really, really into them. Yeah, my goal, Katie, the reason I try to make it all one image is because people keep joining in and they keep asking the same question every single time. What does the image look like? It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter what it looks like. Because what matters is we have to figure out how to control the image. And that's way easier to understand if you're trying to make them all the same thing. That way you don't have to keep showing new newbies what it looks like. Well, what's weird, Brian, is that I must stress that for some reason I can't explain. It seems very easy to make them all be correct except for one. Which looks so good. If you know how it works, then why not try to solve it then? That's, that's true, Katie. But again, we don't know how it works. That's the problem. I'm trying to figure out how it works. That's the problem. I think it's easy to figure out how it works while you're trying to make them all one image. Rather than trying to make it one big image. Do. Do, do, do. Well, I know how it works on the, on the most shallow level, Katie. That's the most shallow level, but again, there's many consequences. Every time you click a button, it much more changes than what you would think on the surface. That's how these puzzles work. If it were that simple, then every puzzle would be really easy like this. Because, yeah, it's true that, you know, if you guys are joining us here, if you guys are watching on YouTube, it is true that it's very simple. It's just three columns and three rows, right? And of those three columns and rows, you can either advance them all by one image, or one tile, I should say, or you can walk them back by one image or tile. I'm using the word rescind. I'm saying advance and rescind. The top buttons will advance the whole column by, you know, one tile. And the bottom button will rescind the whole column by one tile. And for some reason, the left buttons will advance the whole row by one tile. And the right button will rescind the whole row by one tile, instead of being the other way around, like you would hope. So here we are, back where uh, we started. This is where we typically start from. We have all of them the same, except for one. Doesn't matter which spot it's in, or, uh, you know, it almost always seems like it's in the middle row. Not sure why that is exactly. Sometimes it's here, 
Sometimes it's here, sometimes it's here, but here it is. Here's the one that's different. So our goal is to figure out, mathematically, how do we make this one change? I think that we've been too focused on like a one, two system or a one, two, three system. I think we'd have to do like a whole rotation around the board. That's what I'm thinking. Like, like we have to kind of click around all the way around to make uh, everything kind of slide. That's my theory. I want to experiment with it a little bit here once I finish this shake. Hopefully the music still goes until then. A couple more days here, uh, Katie. A couple more days. Tonight's, I'm kind of nervous. I mentioned before, guys. I'm kind of nervous tonight because tonight's going to be uh, really hard on me kind of physically and mentally. After the stream ends, I'm going to be doing a very, very, very long session of lots of clicking and magic record. On previous uh, nights, I've been doing cutscene archival, which has been a lot of, you know, sit back and wait. Tonight's going to be a lot of uh, clicking. It's going to be very active for a very long time, while still being very uh, dull. It's going to be kind of hard, but it's okay. I'll survive. That's neither here nor there. Yeah, so... I can, let's say I advance. Let's say I advance. I also have a theory, Brian, that might be totally off base. But theoretically speaking, it seems as though to simplify the puzzle, we could hypothetically ignore the rescinding. Because rescinding and advancing are the same thing. It's a cycle. It's a loop. So rescinding by one is the same as advancing by eight. So it seems as though maybe it's not sensible to think about like walking back all the time, like walk forward, walk back. I don't know if that can really help us. This looks a lot nice on the shitty winding roads. Oh, yeah, maybe you're right. We should focus on this as being like our, our go-to point, right, Dix? From now on. Focus on the, the all castle, we call it. Sorry, guys. Chick is delicious. Should have drank it before the stream, but uh, got a lot to think about. Okay. So what if I were to, let's say, advance this and advance this, and then advance this and advance this? What we've done is we have left no advance 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 so only this corner tile has stayed the same but that's interesting right we've shuffled them all but let the corner the same let's try it advance advance Advance. Advance. What have we accomplished here? Look at this pattern we made. Interesting. Why don't you rescind the middle tile by one and advance every other uh, one by eight then, huh? If they reach the same conclusion. Because you can't do individual tiles exactly, yes. You have to do whole rows, whole columns or rows, exactly. That's the point. That's why everyone, everything you click has huge consequences, more than you would think. That's why it's not as simple as just advancing or ascending, because whenever you advance one row and then one other column, then you fuck something up. This one might advance by two, that might rescind by one, and yeah, it's a bunch of bullshit. I'm not sure if you have to, Dick. I'm not sure if you have to do every single puzzle. So look what we did here. We advanced, 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 advanced. No, we advanced, 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 advanced. And now we have this cool little shape here. I like where this is going. Let's do it again. Advance. 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 So, again, we have a pretty interesting shape here, coming into an interesting pattern. Now we've got a little arrow there. Those are symmetrical. This is in the middle, this is different, those are both different. What if you replicate that in the bottom corner, huh? I'll try that in a minute, Brian. I'm having fun looking at how this is playing out. Advance. Spawn me slim fast. Advance. So now we have this. We have a nice little square right here. They're all the same. 
and we have this shape here where those are all the same. And as again, we're not changing this corner because we're not touching that, that row or that column. And guess what we have here? This is very similar to what we had last time. Those are together. Will those always be together theoretically? They will, right? Sure. Those are these are gonna always be together, these four. Because I changed this row and this row and this row and this row. Now this column is column, this row, this row. That'll leave these ones together. This one is separate. And uh Yeah. Hmm. So apples and dicks I just restart like an easy one, huh? It seems as though it's always the same. I reset it and it does uh it does give me a different like visual pattern, like different tiles and different spots. But I think that it's the same, they're always the same distance from each other, the same rotational distance. So it doesn't really matter that they look like they're different images. It's the same essential pattern every time. Did you Britsky? Playing that BO3, huh? Not, I remember you mentioned this last time. I already forgot what BO stands for. Do you... back where we started here, slowly but sure. Black Ops, okay, I'm sorry, Black Ops 3, yes. Yeah, nice dude, hope you enjoy it. That's finally that, well that sure was tasty. Okay. So, this is interesting. Because we are definitely taking control of every tile but that corner. Which I think stands to reason that if we did some math, we could probably get the corners we, we want them to be. Do, do. Should have bought this game, said Brian. Huh? Way more action than Black Ops. I'm enjoying it. It's definitely very slow paced. It's kind of fun to dick around with. Also, again, it's quite nice on the eyes. So what Brian was saying earlier is that we can take for granted that uh, because these two are going to always match and these two are going to always match these two and this is the way I'm doing it and this tile is never going to change. Um, we can start to think about how we can not just do boom, 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 but look at maybe start doing uh, other rows and columns, right? Do, 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 do. For instance, I could still change this whole row, this whole column, uh, independently of this column, without ever actually changing this uh, this spot here. Does people even play Black Ops anymore? I mean, Britsky does. Better soundtrack in this game, other than uh, Black Ops. I've been wanting Black Ops Three for like five months now, so I got to tell you, good stuff, Britsky. Hopefully, you find it's worth all the uh, all worth the wait. Both are first-person games where you click on stuff. Yeah, they're, they're kind of similar genre. Yeah, I could literally change uh, this row or this row at will. I could actually make them not match if I wanted to. I could actually break them up if it would please me. But again, that doesn't really. Uh, I think that's what I want. Well, maybe, maybe it is. That says that boom, 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 boom sounds like a great plan, though. Yeah, right now I'm doing boom, 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 boom. I could boom, boom some other corners if it would please me. Do. 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 I can also like stop halfway through and reconsider what I'm doing. Like they don't have to be like I'm doing this sort of like it's kind of symmetrical pattern here. 
we're getting a similar result every time, right? Which is that these two match these two. And these three seem to always match, which surprised me. I don't know, see if I can figure out why that is. And the middle one seems to kind of always be changing. So how can... If I do boom, boom... Boom, boom... How come this one always matches? I must misinterpret that. Let me see what's going on here. Advance that by one. Advance this by one. I advance this by one. Oh, I see, because they're all three of those are gonna advance twice. I see. Okay. Yeah, you're right. It's off by one each time, right? Can't yeah. Here's where we started. We finally got back where we started. So yeah, so I'm advancing this and this and this by two. Advancing this and this and this and this by one. Advancing this by none. Advancing this by, uh, by one, oh, also by two, I see. So this is staying synchronized with these ones. That's what's happening. So all four of these always stay synchronized. They're all advancing by two. And these ones on the edge advance by one. Okay. I see. Yes, I see what you mean, Kenny, yeah off by one. So it's just, again, they're, they're all synchronized still. All four of these stay synchronized. These ones are going out of sync. So what if I were to, let's say, advance this and uh, advance this. Look at that. I made... Uh, the corners match. Well, I feel like from here, I could theoretically solve it if I did some pretty intense math. Right? I think the, the key is to control the corners. And uh, if we know in advance how many times we're gonna have to pull on this corner, for instance, to eventually make that one match, we could do some math and figure it out. Now you do the middle row on left side, and then two columns you, you haven't done. I've done all the columns at some point tonight. I'm not sure what you mean by haven't done. Of course, I, I, I have an idea what you mean, but not close enough to really uh, be able to visualize what your uh, idea is. What's done, Britsky? Yeah, this is definitely not done. I wish it was. I feel like we could uh, use a chest puzzle as a palate cleanser, huh? At least to beat is groovy. Yeah, the fat man doesn't fuck around, dude. Top of the top right. Let me advance these columns. So now do the middle row on left side. So let me to uh, this advances it, and then the two columns you haven't done. The middle one is all aligned now. Yes, the rest is easy. I think you're wrong with that, Katie. That's the same idea you had. Uh, I feel like you don't totally like penetrate these uh these block puzzles that was the same thing you said before about the block puzzle right just make one match the rest is easy that's totally the opposite of how it works matching one or two rows or even every single spot but one doesn't make it any easier make sure i'll take your advice so you want me to do uh the middle row advance by one so like this then top left and top right easy game beep dee 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 Okay, so uh, this is a pattern we've kind of had. So basically, it's the same pattern we had before. This is the same as a pattern we had before, where the middle one's one was different. Right? I can I just rotate this around. You'll see. It's just the same pattern. There. If you pull the middle row now, then the middle column. Could we get to line up? I want to go back to what Katie had. Yeah, and I want to stress that. Uh, let's just see. Let's just see. This is what we had, right? Now, if you pull the middle row now, uh, which way you want me to pull it? Then the middle column. No, now it's the same as it was. Unless you might be to meant before Katie's suggestion. This is where we left off with Katie, right? Am I wrong? 
do 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 hmm. okay well let's go back where we started this is right where we started right here I'll show you so here we have all the edges being the same and the middle one being wrong this is right where we started so we know that we can leave one corner the same. We can leave any corner the same that we want. We learned that before, while changing the rest. But the problem is we can't do that for every corner. That's kind of where, that's where the math comes in. Because I can leave this corner where it is, right? I can just fucking do this. And advance this. Do, do. First of all, to understand what happened to Killer, you gotta understand who Killer the dog was, says Herb, huh? That sounds familiar, I'm not sure where it's from. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know where it's from. Oh, my God. Dude, I haven't heard that quote in so long, Herb Durkin. I haven't heard the quote in so long. Yeah, me and Katie were talking about that. So I'm like, what was that? Like last week, Katie, you were talking about that? Do, do. Now, Killer was born to a three-legged bitch of a mother. He was always ashamed of this, man. He was always ashamed of this, man. <laughs> do, do, do. So I can advance this now so that we have... Uh, uh, kind of an unusual situation here. I mean, because this is uh, probably a situation we've never really been in that many times. Let me advance this a little bit. So that we can uh, have it look like this. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. You know, it would be nice to be if I can get the one tile that's not correct into a corner. But I'm not sure I can do that. It just seems like it's. The way that the problem we're having here is that's not gonna work. <laughs> Katie. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> dude, we gotta watch that movie, dude. We gotta watch that movie. Okay, so yeah, here we're in a situation where uh, the middle one is off. I mean, this is the same, same situation. We've, I mean, no, I take it back. Yeah, it's the same situation we're always in, right? Yeah, we're just, we're just here. We have many times had the one incorrect uh, piece be here or here or here. But we have never had the incorrect piece be in any of the corners. To accomplish that, I would need to have these two the same. That's all there is to it. Right? Or these, any two adjacent ones the same and have the wrong one be on the outside. So I can figure that out. Yeah, I think Dixon Herbert right. Do do. I got two. I gotta get two of them adjacent that are the same. And then have the bottom one be the wrong one. Right here. Right here. This, this is the spot right here. Okay. So let me see if I can take that. Extrapolate that further out. So now we have a, a row where we have same, same, and wrong. Here's another one, same, same, and wrong. Here's another one, same, same, and wrong, right? So, do, 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 do. So I advanced this and I advanced that. No, see, that's, 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 we're, we're right back where we started. Oh, I see. We're where we're, we're started, I feel like, right? Because these are all the same. These ones are all the same. If I advanced this by one, we'd be right where we started. Right. So we're, we're always here. Try moving the bottom row to the left, then right column down. Now, again, so when you say left, you don't understand that means we're going advancing a, a tile. So try moving the bottom row, advance by one. Then the right 
column rescind by one. Then move the bottom row rescind by one. Uh, right is uh, right is uh, rescind by. Oh, I'm sorry. Left is advanced by one. So left is advanced by one. Then right column rescind by one. Then bottom row advanced by one. No, bottom row rescind by one. Oh, it's so confusing. <laughs> Anyway, sure, I'll turn it. Whatever you want, CP. Whatever you want. Yeah, whatever you want, man. I'll do it for you if it makes you happy, but I think nothing's going to really happen. Sure. So you want bottom row to move to the left? Again, you want that. So when you say left CPU, do you mean you want me to actually press the left button? Or do you want me to walk it back by one? Which is the right button. If any of the rows have matching tiles, it becomes unsolvable. You mean from start? Because I can always walk back any... Yeah, about to say, you mean, you mean from start. Because I can always walk back any move I do. It almost always gives me... Okay, well... Yeah, I guess I'm going to take that with a grain of salt in that case, KD. It almost always gives me... Uh, the same image in uh, either a row or a column from start. Do, do, do. Birds are never wrong. Dude, birds are not even real, bro. Seems I've looked on the interwebs. What if I were to advance this whole row? And then advance this whole row, this whole column. Oh, we're here again. Well, I allow you. Yeah, so this is the pattern we always end up with. Cite your sources as dicks. So I can break this pattern by like walking back. Yeah, so now we've got something a little more interesting happening here. Herb's like, do it. Do. Advance that bottom one right, huh? Bottom what? The bottom row? Let me advance it to the right. And again, right, you guys understand. I want to, let's stop using the term right and left, guys, please. No more right and left. You want me to advance the images by one or rescind them by one? Because again, right is not advance. Right is rescind. For some reason, up and right are, no, uh, up and left are advance. Down and right are rescind. Do, 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 do what you was gonna do down there. So my ex told me one time. She's like, why you stop? Do what you was gonna do down there. Yeah, I wasn't gonna do anything, I was just thinking. worth meditating on that no single move is significant at all because every move that we do on any row or column will change every tile in that row or column by the same amount and again what's significant is their distance from each other in terms of the rotation sure it is Dix, but you, you don't think this is going to be informed to us one day 10 years on the line this is we're building problem solving skills Dix. We're not all like you. We're not all natural problem solvers like you, Dix. And the significance comes from the combination of moves. Because if I do any individual move, all the tiles in that row or column remain equidistant from each other in terms of their rotation. So nothing has really changed. Nothing has really changed. It's their distance from each other rotationally that's, what's, that's what matters. 
You're sitting here meditating instead of solving the fucking puzzles of the dicks. If you gotta clip it, this would be like, it was worth it, dude. It was worth it. Remember Vinka had that sleepy logic and was slowly losing his mind? Katie, I'd love to watch Twitch at this Katie Alpha. And watch you solve this. And see what kind of logic you come up with. So I have a feeling of what it would be. It would be Google. What is it? I really don't understand the logic of watching somebody trying to figure out a puzzle and getting so impatient that you want to look it up and just tell them the answer so they'll move on to something else. Is it really a CPU? That's sick, dude. Happy birthday to your dog. What's your dog's name? At this rate, you're going to achieve Nirvana before you manage to beat this, huh? That's what's important to me, dude. I think that I, I, this is theory developed during Wind Waker, dicks. When uh, Wind Waker was new, I played, uh... I uh, was playing it and doing a, a sliding puzzle, and I was like, how do I solve this, man? I can't solve it by just brute forcing it. And eventually, I just kind of stared at it for a while and was thinking about how it would work. And I realized, wait, no. The way that it works is if you leave that one there and then slide like even with the, with the block puzzle dicks you figure it out how it works you know uh, logically and then that can that's how you solve it you just gotta understand how it works you gotta understand you have to have like a strategy in mind and a strategy has to you know conform to the mechanics of the game but to get to that point you have to kind of like I said meditate if you look it up says dicks you can pretend it was your solution and look like you have more than two brittles rubbed together it's some wax of the dicks, because it's not like the black puzzle. The only reason I mentioned something is because I said the puzzle is impossible to solve if certain variables are there, huh? Yeah, what those variables mean seems very ambiguous. Yeah, hey, you want me to restart? I can restart right now. Watch. I'm going to have to start again. No, start again. Oh, man. I bet you we're going to have two of the same uh, thing in any given row or column. Right there. So it's already unsolvable, huh? So here we have two of the same in this row, and two of the same in this row, and two of the same in this row, even. Let's try it again. See if we can get one that doesn't have two of the same. Again. Hmm. Already unsolvable. We have two in the same row, or even more in that row, huh? What you wanted. Okay. Wow, well, I can't believe he's beat the game, guys. Wow. We're gonna get them all the same. The game's gonna end and we'll be able to walk away happy, right? But no. But the problem is that, again, my theory was if we figure out how to change tiles, we would know how to solve it. By having it given to us, we haven't actually solved anything. Exactly, Dex. Now what, indeed. Right, the whole point was to know how to solve it. But now we have to, uh, we haven't learned anything. We actually haven't learned anything here, so it doesn't really help us. Column one, rescind. Okay. So Kenny has a theory. Okay, then what? Column one, advance. Column three, advance, I think he means. Do you just Kenny's time to shine? He's been he's been meditating on this already. I believe Kenny's ball, Brian. Although I kind of wonder if this is solvable, because I, I I really did feel Dix that it was the same every time. Row one and three spin to win. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. There you go. Do you, do you, do you, do you, do. You, do, you, do you, I don't want to walk forward, not backward. 
Here's my problem, though, with this. Why is this game so easy? Yeah, but I mean, we had to. So what CPU? Well, the series if they had two matching ones in the same row, it would be done, right? Well, it was already done. I mean, this had two of the same row. All the rows are the same thing. No Nirvana, and we learned nothing, dude. Well, that's not cricket, is it? It just gave us a solution. Dolls! Why would Stoff keep this room, a room filled with dolls, locked? Unless... Oh, no! I know what this is! I know what these dolls are! Don't you see? Don't you see what this is? There's a... I love my mommy. Where's my mommy? Where's my I know mommy? that voice. She lived next door to us. So is every... Is it always unsolvable? She got sick and... It was automatically done, Dick. It was automatically oh, done. no! The dolls! Are the children! The children's spirits became these dolls! That was his deal. Stoff took the children, but not all of them. Only a certain number. I don't see what you meant, CPU. So what, what makes it unsolvable in CPU? A certain number. What? What was that you just said? For tonight, the children had to be collected. There must be one more child coming. The last guest. No! No! He's here already! I've seen him! He ran away! Away! This game's plot makes the no fucking sense. Others are learning about the boy. What must happen to him? What must be done? We've got to find him and get him out. I think I can't see any more fucking ghosts. You look downstairs. And I'll look upstairs. We must move fast before the others. It's a great soundtrack, that was indeed. I'm inclined to agree. I don't know what this game's plot is. The guys following along with the plot. If you get an odd square in any of the rows, then the puzzle is unsolvable and you will have to restart it. If you get an odd square in any of the rows, then the puzzle is unsolvable and you have to restart it. An odd square in any of the rows. So that meant that, I mean, we, we, we started plenty of times. We started at what, like, like eight times? And we always had an odd square every single time until the one where it solved itself. Again, by that logic, yeah, we always had that one square CPU. We always did. I don't see how that puzzle would work then. Right? If... Because, yeah, in the end, like Kenny said, we spun to one in the end. It was very easy. I don't see how it could have, any, it could have been any more complicated than that. There are a bunch of squares in my book, says Brian. I don't see how it could have been any more complicated than what we did in the end. If it was to be solvable. Because if they're all the same distance from each other... Similar easy one, huh? But is it literally unsolvable, or is it if people couldn't figure it out? Good night, Kenny. Great team, Worm. So my weapon of choice is a Tide Pods and a Slingshot, huh? How about Fat Boy Slim weapon of choice? All right, so now there's a puzzle in the piano room. Is there or is there? Hey, good night, Kenny. Could be bad game design, I guess. It just seems bizarre that 99% of the possibilities are all unsolvable. Plenty of puzzles that remain, Kenny. Plenty of puzzles that remain. Do you... Do, do. 
Got a little bit of Tide Pods. Can I also have buckets of ice as a backup weapon, huh? If it's music, I'm all in. I'm not sure if it is music. It's fine. We haven't actually checked it out yet. This game is so cool looking. Do. So here's the puzzle. It's a staff way. Can I also make. I got this piano for a song. Okay, so we can play any note we want, including flats. My weapon of choice is uh, force people to solve one of these fucking block puzzles in order to leave the room, huh? They'll be trapped there forever. Thankfully, you can leave at any time. You just can't leave the mansion. So we start off with uh, with this low C. Having fun yet, mortal? So we got I remember when I used to play follow the leader. Oh, wow. Are you serious? We're playing Simon? That tune seems familiar. I bet I could play it. Yuck it up, bro! Is there a pattern to this? Okay, so what is that? A... No, it's B. B, B... No, excuse me, uh... Was it two Bs? B, B, uh... A. <laughs> no. I thought he did it twice! So then B, and then, was it the octave B? Okay, I thought it was an A that time. There we go, thank you. So B, B, and then uh, F sharp. B, B, F sharp, G. B, B, F sharp, G, E. Okay, so then we have uh, E flat. So B, B, F sharp, G, E. E flat. Okay, then back to E again. B. B. F sharp. I forgot what this was. Or was it was it this or was it this? Or was it this? No, I wasn't here at all. <sighs> Be here for a while, guys. Mm. 
What the fuck? Okay, we're going to proceed this time. Okay. Mm-hmm.
This is... This ruined the whole game for me, guys. That ruined the whole game for me. That was the stupidest puzzle. No! Stop struggling. Stop struggling, a lot of squeeze you till you pop! Fuck him up! He's ours, Duffin! We figured out what to do! The boy is ours! No! The boy's mine! I won! I solved the puzzle! Take oh, him now! Give away! Oh, man! Go get him! Well, give us the boy, Duffin! We know what to do with him! Yeah, we're in the of the game, dude. Wait! Get the knife! Oh my god! Yo, can I get F for that guy, please? Fatality herb. Alright. So, you guys all saw it, of course. I don't need to explain it to you guys. To memorize a sequence that long, it's asking a lot. But not too much. Not too much. I mean, it's reasonable because it was—it was a melody. Melodies are—you know—I think the human mind can memorize melodies. Okay, but like Kenny mentioned there, don't misclick Kappa. To memorize a pattern that long, and also to make sure you're clicking just the right spot, at the right moment. And if you fail once, you just restart the whole process from scratch. That's stupid as fuck. If I had misclicked once, I would have to start from the very beginning. That was way too long. The seventh guest, huh? But he was stabbed seven times in the chest, huh? Let's go up I'm missing the chat there. I see some really bad puns. Yeah, good night, Kenny. Rest of all, he says, ladies for realsies. Hopefully it turns out, into, it turns into a Mario Paint song, and there are, like, airplane and car notes. That'd be sick, Brian. That'd be really, really sick. That would make that whole puzzle way more fun. I should take some notes, says Katie. Wow. At least the key to the puzzle is pretty obvious. Damn it, dicks. I'm just a chord with me, says Brian. It was easier. It was just a much more pain in the ass. And there was a lot of nervousness there where, you know, if I misclicked on the, the wrong key, uh, having to start from the very beginning again, having to go from the very first bum, 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 whatever, it was bullshit. Anyway, so that's that. So is there anything left to do except for the puzzle in, uh, in the, uh, in the science lab? I'm not even totally sure where the science lab is. I have an idea where it is. Not a really good idea. Do, do. So basically, I'm going to go do the puzzle in the science lab since uh, that's where I know to go. But there might be new things being unlocked, like new cutscenes around the, on the, around the mansion. The piano puzzle was quite grand, huh? Thank you. The, 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 James, and Dick's beat me too. I'm sure you made that one. Sounds like a lab for sciencing. It's a science lab. One of those places, dude, where you do science and that sort of thing. And I would say the only thing that was kind of clever about that puzzle, the, the piano puzzle, is that it had a melody to it. Where again, it wasn't really like Simon per se. It was like imagine a, a Simon, a Simon puzzle that long would be unsolvable, I think, or you know, not by a, a reasonable metric. I'm sure it would be solvable, of course, but not by a reasonable, uh, uh, you know, a normal person. But, because it had the notes, it made it a little bit easier. Was there any reason we couldn't have just done the lab puzzle first? I don't think so. I really don't, I highly doubt it. I'm sure you can do them in any order, if I had to guess. Oh, is that you, Dix? You're right, Dix, you're right. I'm probably overthinking it. If I had a note, piece of note paper, it would've been a lot easier. Yeah, it would've been quite trivial. Okay, so... Um... Do I want to go this way? I think I want to go this way. Guys, there's no stream tomorrow, okay? So I'm going to be... I want to stream ends tonight, guys. I'm going to be doing nothing but mod record for... Uh, but I guess between... Between today... Between when the stream ends and Friday when the stream starts, I have, what, like, around... 25 hours-ish of mod record to record? So I'm not totally sure how I'm going to go about doing that yet. But it's going to get done. 
I was telling Brian, I'm a little bit nervous. Like, actually, like, a little bit nervous. Because it's gonna be, it's gonna have a mental impact, like a psychological impact. So here's a door I want to go through, right? I think. Okay. So we're here. And this door never would open for us. But will it now? No, there's nothing to do here. What if there ever will be something to do here? But if so, who knows how far we are from the end of this game? Could be quite a ways off from the end of the game still. Who knows how big the mansion is? Let's go look at the fucking uh, skeleton musician, just for fun. He's totally pointless as far as I know, but it's a fucking pleasure. Are you ready for this? That's my plan, Brian, yes. Do commentary for the, uh, for Jazzy Fight Night. Whenever that ends, I'm gonna, you know, do, uh, Magic Record. We're gonna have plenty of time. So Magic Record goes offline, uh, supposedly, according to their, you know, what they've been saying for the past couple months, at 3 a.m. Eastern on Saturday. Technically, right. it goes offline at 11:59 on Friday, PST, which is three in the morning on Saturday Eastern Time. So there's plenty of time for us to be able to play it for us. My real, my real reason for wanting to get it, you know to stream it on the final day is to have that experience of you know getting the actual you know closure of a game on you know camera on footage to really see when it just stops working. So, uh, I guess, uh, it doesn't really matter if we started at, you know, at 9 Eastern or 10 Eastern or 11 Eastern or even midnight Eastern, right? Hypothetically speaking, there will be plenty of time to play it before it goes offline. You're right, it's going to put it on my resume. I'm that boy. You ever watch Mod's record on YouTube? Well, guess what? I'm that boy. They're like, watch what? On what, tube? All right, what is this puzzle? Watch what on where? <laughs> it's another puzzle. <laughs> no shit. Imagine inside a microscope. I love the voice acting this game. I think I did this on my first playthrough of the game. I want to stress that I played this game before I streamed it, uh, like years ago. I didn't beat it. But I'm not sure how far I got. This seems very familiar. I'm almost certain I did this for some reason. I think it makes them like multiply. That's not it. Oh yeah, it's like a competition. So can I split from here too? I can go diagonally. Well, I can jump, but I won't multiply. Interesting rules. So if I go one spot, I multiply, but if I go two spots, I jump. Oh. Oh. So if I do this, I can make another one. Okay. That's kind of fun. Got fucking Final Fantasy Tactics here? Oh my god. So let's just... Uh, so if I could get into this spot, I could get all these guys on my side. If I could jump into this one spot. But I would have to be positioned here to do that. Then they could reach me first. If I were to be right here, he could jump two spots and kill me. Because so my only safe spot is right here. I think you're right, Dix. At least on this run. I'm still learning the rules. So yeah, so now I can... Uh, I really can't go anywhere. I could jump here and I could kill him. But then uh, he would just, just demolish me. Tactics hype cheese. Fucking fun for the tactics, bro. We're playing Final Fantasy Tactics, but with blobs. So I really can't even retreat. I kind of can retreat. Uh, yeah, let me actually retreat here and see what I, if I can like stay in this position. Oh, I see. Okay, he's playing pretty well. Can I jump into this spot? I can. But then he could jump into this spot and get all of my guys. So it wouldn't really work. That's not it. If I were to move this guy right here, he could take both of them, but then I could... Let's try this. Oh, well, I didn't think about that. Son of a bitch! 
But I can move here and take all of those ones. And they can't take that many of my guys, I don't think. That's fine. Kind of. But now we're side by side. So kind of make myself like invincible-ish. I thought they were red and purple, huh? They're definitely not red and purple. I hope not. I really hope not. Okay, let's see here. Slide here. I would grab him. If I slid here, I would grab him and him, and I'd still have my guy here, too. Let's try that. He can eat all three of those guys now. And he has this black formation, which I can't seem to penetrate. It's Batman Red Balloon all over again, huh? Baby's black balloon makes her fly. That was pretty crazy, Dix. That was pretty crazy. If I jump right here, I would eat that one and that one. Then he could just move right here, and he would eat that one and that one. He'd, he'd, he'd eat, uh, well, that one would still be mine in the middle, but I'm not sure that, that doesn't mean any good. I mean, I'm out of curiosity, I want to see what would happen. So if I move uh, here, I would grab that and that. He moves there and gets that and that. But again, now I have this guy in the middle here. He's pretty much unkillable now, right? Can I? No, I can't. I can't move him anywhere now. He's stuck. That's not. So that's like an end game situation where he's kind of trapped in there. Can I move? I can move him right there, surprisingly. They're playing Chinese checkers? I don't think so. Because we're more like multiplying as well. There's a, there's a couple of attacks. I can like defend or attack. If I defend, I can actually make more guys. Which is kind of interesting. That's not it. So can I jump you to there? I can. So we can go one, two. You can't go three, but you can go to there. So basically I can go in a radius of like probably maybe even to that far. Like a like a a diagonal, like a huge squ uh, square. So I get three guys here. And then I think uh, you can't really fuck with me that much. Okay. Yeah, I feel like uh, this is kind of bad. If I move uh, here, I could grab him and him. Then he could grab him and him. Then I could grab him. Let's try this. Okay, that was smart. So I could move here and I could grab him and him. Then he could kill me with either of these two, though. Oh yeah, I see, I'm sacrificing that guy in that spot, though. Uh-huh, yeah, see what I did there? I opened myself up. I didn't think about that. But I could step back to here and grab all those guys. I can grab these three. But he can move that one somewhere. Let's just see what happens. Okay, that works for me. Because I can go right here and grab all those fuckers. Oh, but I left an empty spot there. I forgot, when you jump, you do jump jump. You don't want to jump jump. So what I could do is, uh, I could actually not jump jump, I could actually multiply this direction and grab both those two. Then he could multiply this way and grab all three of those guys. I don't want that to happen. So uh, if I multiply this guy down, I can grab those two. That seems like what I want to do, maybe? It's like a weird version of Checkers and Othello. Othello's pretty dope, but it's been so long since I played it as Brian, huh? I don't know from Othello. Oh, sorry, you can jump over, guys. Oh, son of a bitch. But I can do that to him, too, though. I could jump over to this. If I leave an open spot there, I'm sure I want to do that. I could jump right across to there. Now, can I jump from here to there? I can. Well, that seems reasonable. Although, 
Mm, hang on. If I were to jump there, these would all become blue. But then he could simply just jump to here. He'd multiply himself to here. And then he could get all these guys, four at once. So if I were to jump to here instead, I could get those th uh, those four. Oh, that might be what I want to do then, huh? Let's try that. Jump across and get those four. Although, then I get somebody multiplied there and get those. Yeah, we'll just... Curses! So I just got freed the fuck up. I just got explored anally. Mmm. I can multiply in this direction and get these two. There's certain, there's certain like formations you want to avoid. I mean, like I'm starting to see you don't want to like leave like a bucket shape. He's gonna jump in there and get all three of those, right? Because that little shape I left there. He's not leaving any of those for me to jump into, unfortunately. But right now, I don't have any either that are like that. What I could do is I could jump uh, from here. I could multiply from here to here and grab all those. And he could jump over and do something, uh, I would seem. But let's try that. Just kind of learning my way through this. So he's going to grab those two. That's fine, I guess. I could jump, but I can't click him. Oh, he has nowhere to go. Yeah. yeah, I could jump over to here and get one, two, three, four. That's a pretty good formation as well, all things considered. Yes, I think I want to do that. Yeah, sure I do. Let's jump from here to here. Well, yeah, I'd get no, no, no. See, I'd get I would get these four. They could simply take them all back except for this one as well. So I basically would gain nothing. That's not but good. positioning at best. I could jump from here to here, but I leave that empty spot there. You don't want to leave an empty spot. Like you don't really want to jump if you don't have to. You want to multiply instead. But I kind of have to jump now, right? I really do have to jump. Hmm. So I could checkmate. Uh, well, there probably is no. If I had to guess, I'd probably play if I checkmate myself. I could again multiply in these spots. That'd be game over. Right. Yeah, I kind of didn't get a good start, but I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Really, my only option is to jump from either here to here, or from here to here. I'm a baby apples. Again, either spot I take, I can take four of them. But they can win back, you know, at least as many very quickly. If I jump from here to here, I could take four of them. But again, they're going to take that back no problem. Easy peasy. Yeah, so this is a pretty much a lost game, but it's whatever. We're learning. Curses! Wow, he's got six of my guys. Should I have done that? Oopsie daisy. So I'm gonna reset. Okay. So let's uh just start building defense. Here. Doing the same exact thing, which seems like probably a good thing. I, I get to move first, so if we just keep doing the same thing, then you would think that I could uh that I could uh, win just by outnumbering him once the board is filled. If they want to take that guy, uh, that's no big deal. Like, I kind of feel like if I want to just build a defense, that's just my personality. I'm a very defensive player in anything I play. I kind of want to build a situation down here where people can't fuck with me. So now they can jump to where I'm at. Uh, so I kind of already fucked up. Yeah, it's like... You can jump over here and take uh, as many as three of my guys now already. 
mistakes were made. If I had been a little more aggressive, I could have actually jumped into his position and got all his guys. Yeah, let me reset. Different, different uh, pattern this time. It's alright. So I gotta start pushing into some offense, I feel like. I'm safe in this spot. Okay. Now he can steal one of my guys at most. I think that's what I want. That's like I want to set that up, I think. He can steal one of my guys right now. But that's what you wanna. Now I wanna multiply this way, I think. And try to bait him. Oh, maybe right. I'm pretty sure I've started on purple, though. But let's try it next, next time. That was green. So he didn't take the bait. But now I can jump into his space and grab two of his guys. But he can very easily take them all back. And it's also a bait. There's definitely some psychology here. Some mind games happening. So... Let's say that I were to multiply into this spot. He could then multiply to either here or here. And then take everyone. I wouldn't be able to do jack shit about it. So I think that what I want to do now is I want to not. I want to basically bait him, right? Whoever attacks first loses, I think, in this encounter. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I think what I want to do is leave this as like a stalemate and then move this direction now. Or otherwise, somewhere he couldn't reach. If I move right here, he can actually jump into this spot. In fact, I just realized he actually jumped there right now. It's not really much of a steal, mate. Apples. Right, he actually has advantage right now. His shape is better than my shape. Because he can just jump into this spot right now and take three of my guys, and I wouldn't be able to do jack shit about it. There'd be nothing I could do. I really couldn't get those guys back. So his little lance formation there is quite aggressive. So I can't do the same for him. So I fucked up. If I multiply in this spot, again, he could jump into this spot, take two of those guys, or into that spot, but it wouldn't really matter. I could jump in. So I, uh, maybe that's what I want to do then. Let me try this. If I moved here, what are you going to do about it? You can take all those guys, right? But what I can do now is I can jump into this spot. That's actually a much better formation, right? I can jump into this spot and then take all four of these guys. Then what do you do? He can only take three of them now. Oh, but look at that formation he gets out of it. Oh, wow, this game is so complicated. So now I can't attack like I was hoping to be able to attack there. I can't jump into his spot now and fuck him up. Once again, I'm in a situation where I can only... If I moved here, I have to jump over there for one thing. I could grab him and him. I have a little shape like this. He could very simply then just grab those two for free. Ugh, give me very deep tactics. A little slurp, slurp, slurp apples. So I have to be blue or purple or what color it is. Okay. So what is that? What is the significance of that move? This game uh, isn't in board game form. I'll make that shit myself. This game looks super fun to CPU. I wonder. I was just take the corner you had it. I'm sure I did have it, Apple. I feel like he had a huge advantage in that situation he was in. But how did he get it? He's going out that away. I don't want to leave any pits in my formation. Let's see if I advance this way. If I advance in a straight line, I think that I, you know, I have no pits. You don't want to have any pits. If he attacks me, he leaves a pit, right? But if, let's say I moved here. Right? And then he advanced into this spot. <sighs> it's very hard for me to uh, understand.
right? I can, I can move here and get one, two, three. Then he can jump into the pit and get you know, one, two, three, four. And then, what do you know? He has advantage again. If I move here, then he can then I grab him. All I have to do is then move here and he gets all of us. If I move here, I can get those two. I also get a multiplication. But he can just move there and then he gets a huge advantage. There's something here I'm not understanding on a very fundamental level. I like to do this thing where he makes this little hook shape in the start. So we have the same formation now, but I'm, if I'm pointed toward this one, no, no, it's not the same formation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're seven by seven board. can only get this far. But if I were to leave him be over there, what would he do if I were to move this way? He has to pick who wants to attack, right? For side of him. He's not going to attack either one. He's going to keep going that way. I can follow his lead and menace this guy the same way. But I'm behind a move. I started off ahead of a move, and I'm behind a move somehow. If I kill that corner, though, that seems like probably a, a good thing. He has to pick if he defends. Oh, you son of a bitch! But that's kind of okay. If I moved here, I can get those three. If I moved here, I could get those three. We have a nice little formation right there. He could then move there and get those three. Or jump there. Some, uh, let's find out. What are you going to do if I do this? So he's gonna take three people right there. And again, he, has, uh, he blocked me just now. So he has to, you gotta have all your purple ones follow all the red ones, or I guess we can probably stalemate as well. Whoever has the most on the end of the game wins. Whoever has the most on the board is my guess. But yeah, if I ate all of this, I could probably win too. Yeah, exactly, Dix. That's kind of my thinking. Yeah, he blocked me. I can't jump through there now because he has two of them in a row. I, mean, I could jump across there and leave an empty spot. That seems very unwise. That'd be really unwise. You don't want to jump if you don't have to. I always fail in the first couple moves. I lose in the first couple moves. There's some kind of element of strategy I don't understand completely. So I went that way, he went that way. What is he doing? Is he defending or is he attacking? I moved here, he moved there. That's kind of how it always goes. I'm ahead of move right now. If I go north, is he going to go south or is he going to go even further this way? I also, we can also go diagonals, but that's just not a good idea. He's trying to do a double pronged attack this time. If I moved here, I could he could only take two at a time of my guys. That's not like a defensive move, I feel like. I just I have to choose what I want. This is like the move where I'm gonna fail, right? This is, this is the death move. I can also jump out of this corner. That's an option I have. I could jump over to here and start trying to control the middle of the board. That could, that's an option. Let's just try that out of curiosity. So now I'm within range for him to grab me on this tile. 
See, and I can't kill him. He can kill me, but I can't kill him. I, I can jump over here and grab him. I could grab him, but they could very easily just kill both my guys and win a lot of position. He has more guys than me because I chose to jump when he chose to multiply. If I move here south by one, he can only take one of my guys at max. I can jump over there and kill the whole corner now. No, I can't. Fuck. Of course not. He knew that. He knew I wanted to do that. I was like, move back one. Which direction is back, Apples? And which what character do you want me to do? I feel like your commands, one at a time, are not going to be a huge uh, help, unfortunately. A game like this, I kind of feel like a, a, give, give me a command in the chat is not going to be that uh, helpful. Without us knowing each other's, you know, strategy. If I multiplied this way, he could jump and take two of my guys. But then I could take all those his guys. So he's not going to do that. All right, then I want to multiply into this spot right here. I multiplied here. What he could do is he could jump to here and take those two. Then I could take all three of them by multiplying to that spot. It'd be very unwise of him. Or we could multiply there and do a diagonal. That's also very unwise. It might be right, Apples. It might be right. <laughs> Didn't see that move coming. He jumped diagonally two spaces. Maybe, Dix, maybe. It's in the middle column by one, advance the first row by two. Okay. Can you always lose in the first couple of moves? I gotta figure out how to maintain my advantage early on. I have the advantage! I, I move first! No matter what, I always have advantage in the first move. What if I move into this spot? Multiply that way. He could jump. He could tell. He could expand this way and grab one, or he could jump and grab two. But if he did that, I could get all my guys back, including his guy. What are you okay. So now I can jump to there and grab those three. That's, that's the bait, right? That's where he baited me. He already won. I can't attack him now. I can't win. It's crazy how fast the game gets decided like that in this game. Because now he has this position where if I were to attack him, he can just take all my guys back. This just blows my mind. Again, I don't, I'm having trouble wrapping my head around it. Gotta bait the baited bait, yeah. So now he can jump take all those guys. That's it. GG. He pushed this way and he attacked me and I'm dead. He attacked me right here and just came straight down. And I'm dead. He has this long dick formation where he puts one out and he pushes the other way really far, really fast. So now I can't do anything, right? If I were to move here, I would take him. Then he could just take two back. Or what if I did move here? I would get these three. Then he could move. He could multiply to this spot and take this back and that back. Then I could get all those ones back for free right there. 
Okay, I'll dip the dicker, yeah. But what do you do if I did this? What happens? He jumped and got all those ones. He did this in the past. So I could now do this and get all those on my side. Then what's he gonna be able to do? He could jump to this spot and get those two. He'd only be able to get two no matter what, right? But I feel like the two he got would be, I don't know, he would get something in some formation where I wouldn't be able to fuck with him, right? That's probably what he does. It's now he's kind of like unfuckwithable, right? I could multiply to this spot, but he just jump over and grab all three of those. No matter what I do now, I'm fucked. No matter where I come from and attack him from, he can counterattack me twice as hard. That's kind of how this game works. That's how the flow of the game is, right? Like, he attacks me in such a way that if I counterattack, he's gonna attack me twice as hard. This guy could jump as far as out to here. But the problem is he leaves this spot empty. He just multiply into there and take all those guys. So no matter what I do, if I jump out of any of my spots I'm currently in, he can just jump over my guys. Uh, he can always get whatever spot I leave behind and jump into. So it's almost like the square, the block formations are not that strong. They block guys from jumping over, but you cannot use them for attacking anymore. So maybe I need to start baiting him, right? Maybe the trick is the counterattack is stronger than the attack. Like I'd normally give up here, but maybe I need to just see what he does after this point. And then see if I can counterattack him twice as hard, right? Let me just this go a direction, it doesn't really matter. Okay. See, he could have taken more of my guys if he chose not to. Cause he, I think he knows that if he did, I would have been able to hit him harder than he was able to hit me. Trying to fill in those spots so I can't uh, fuck with them. We finally jumped over there. Now what I could do is I could jump over to here, but again, that would leave that spot empty. I'd be fucked. I still can't jump into there like I've been trying to push for. Move to multiply to here. Okay, he's gonna jump across with all those guys. I'm fucked. GG. So I gotta copy his moves. Yeah, it's mind blowing in Silo. You can jump over move, jump over pieces that aren't yours. You can jump over pieces not yours, which means you can if they leave a, a hole, you just kill them all. Brian blames Tad for this. I feel like I should just copy his moves. Just literally write down his moves and just try and copy them. I'm surprised Dix didn't solve the puzzle already. Fondling balls are surely his thing. Huh? Slurping balls. So, uh, what's funny is that, again, how does he attack me? He has to have a plan where he can attack me and I can't counterattack him. So when he, when I attack him, I always have an opening left behind where he can counterattack me twice as hard. If I were to jump over to here, that wouldn't do me any good. I would attack him. I'd eat one of his balls. He would just eat both my balls and I'd be fucked. This happened the last time, right? But again, right here, right? Here's a situation where uh, where I can no longer attack him. Because if I attack him now, 
he will just contact me twice as hard. No matter where I go. If I multiply into this spot, he will uh, multiply into this spot and then eat one, two, three guys. And I'm really fucked. So like on an abstract level, as a meditation, how did he do that? How did he just fuck me so hard? I'll, again, we're so early in the game. Whatever he's doing uh, makes it impossible for me to fuck with him. I don't understand it. Or is it just as simple as whoever has second move has advantage? I've been assuming that because I move first, I have advantage. But no, that's wrong, right? Because in this game, you take over your opponent's uh, you take over your opponent's blobs. They become your blobs. So maybe moving first is not an advantage. He's giving them more blobs to take, essentially. Well, now hang on. If I jump from here to here, I will get all three of these guys. But he will not be able to jump from here to here to fill my empty spot. So then what would he do? He would try and take three of my guys, right? He would take the three that are whatever most accessible to him. But then what happens? Let's find out. So just those three, sure. And these guys inside are unfuckwithable. You can make your first move pretty points to prove that out, right? How do you mean, right? So the thing to do here would be to push out to this side. Or I could jump to here. You'd have you'd be done if you had asked j what to do. He's an expert on finishing fast. Even better, your opponent will be left unsatisfied for sure, says Dix. You have balls in the two corners and you're only focusing on one of them. Yes, you're right. That's true. If I jump from this spot and go to this spot, I am not leaving the spot open, which is unusual. Right? I actually I can jump from a spot and not leave a spot. But no, 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 it would still be it would still be open. He'd be able to jump to that spot, I think, from there. So yes, he could jump into that spot from where he's at. I'm not sure if he'd want to. Let's just see what happens. Now, I can jump into this corner and take all three of those. But he just jump into that corner and take uh, those. Yeah, it doesn't really. What if I jump from here to here? But he could just literally jump to where I left from and eat all those guys, and that'd be really fucked. Maybe we're thinking it. Maybe I just click randomly, and maybe I just win. Maybe there's more important things in the short-term game. Maybe I need to start advancing over here now, and maybe he just wouldn't eat these guys, because maybe uh, it would be to his disadvantage in certain situations, right? I think, I think that's where I'm failing to understand, right? That's where I'm failing in this game. The failure is that there are certain situations where it actually makes less sense to, to like, do anything. Like, he might not even eat my guys in this case. Right? Like, there are some situations where he won't even bother attacking my guys, because why would he? If he attacks my guys, he's going to be fucked. Right? So we have to figure out, like, what to do that's not just attacking guys or trying to defend. Like, there's more to it. Yeah, I think I have to watch him and, and literally study his movements to understand how to play. He's going to jump across now and eat all those guys. Yeah. Like he's not leaving any pits for me to jump into either. Great move. Is it though? 
Was it a great move? Or was it an ass move? Now he can lock me in, right? Like, hypothetically speaking, if he yeah, multiplies like, in a certain spot. Oh, look at that. I have only one chance to get out of here. If I wanted to get out of there. But that's the rub. If I were to leave this spot, he could just fill it and take all my guys back. I just, uh, I just took from him. All right, that's kind of the, the whole thing. Like, if I go here, you can just take all that. If I were to attack here, again, it's a whole game of counterattacking. He can always attack me back and get back more than I got from attacking. Like... His formation is, again, uh, immaculate. He doesn't leave any empty spots for me to jump into. See, he doesn't leave a pit. If I jump across here, which I kind of have to now, I'm going to leave a pit for him to just jump into and eat up all my guys back that I took from him. Curses! Look at that. And whenever you attack, you counterattack twice as hard. If you're not doing it right. Whenever he attacks me, I can't counterattack. Because he's doing something different than I am. I can't perceive what it is. But whatever he's doing makes it so that he can... I can't counter... He can't, I, I can't counterattack in the way he can counterattack me. He's, I mean, he makes a big wall where he doesn't have to leave a, an empty spot. takes two, you take three. Stop losing. Good idea, Apples. I'm not sure what you just said right there, what that means, but good idea. My goal is to get all blue apples. I could take that one, but he would just literally jump across there and take all the ones back that I took. That's not it. I can jump over my own guys. I can jump over his guys and take all three of those. He can just jump over here and take all five of those again because he's smarter than me he, his positioning is such that he can attack me with, impun with impunity and when I attack him I leave an empty spot that he can just capitalize on and kill all my guys green means go you're right dicks I can block him out if I multiply this way, right? Then he can block me out. That might be close to game over. <sighs> Red means no. Maybe you don't want to have pieces that are side by side. Maybe you want to grow up both sides of the screen. You might maybe, I don't know. Jump so that you're not adjacent to other pieces. 
If that's the trick, jumping tactically. What if I were to multiply this way, for instance? And then just jump across to here. Okay, well, that didn't work. What if I were to move to here? And then jump across to here. Right, I have fewer pieces than him, but that doesn't matter, maybe. Maybe you want to be misindependent, miss self sufficient, miss keep your distance. If I were to move here, he can't attack me, right? Uh, no, he certainly could attack me. Easily. Easily. If I were to move there. So I want to move to here. No, I'd still be under fire from him. I can multiply this way now. Or I could do the same thing here that I did down there. How about that? I need more street soldiers, guys. This is gonna realize. Alright, so now I'm Kings of Amalur. Or whatever that game's called. Kings King Under Fire, or whatever the other game is. If I'm under fire, is my point. I'm under fire. But if he leaps to take me, then I can take him back harder, right? That's kind of my point with this formation I'm doing, this idea of like, let's not be adjacent to each other. Because if I'm not adjacent on the early in the game, and he is adjacent, then maybe I can use that to my advantage. I feel like you can control the walls, of course, it's a good strategy, huh? Why do you think that, that is? So I could jump as far as uh, here. But yeah, that's adjacent. If I jumped here... Uh, so right now, who's under attack? This guy's under attack right now. But... If he attacks me, I can attack him back. Whatever that means, whatever that's worth. But then he can just attack me back, you know what I mean? Then I, I, I this, this game is so complicated. It's, it seems so simple, yet... Whatever, I'm always at a disadvantage, it seems like. No matter what I do, I always gonna be at a disadvantage. What's up, Jason? I like the, the tune in to 7th Guest stream just to watch this puzzle, huh? How'd you find it, Jason? Out of curiosity, I'm not sure how Twitch works in that respect. You search for... Video title? Welcome aboard. This puzzle really pissed me off, Jason, not gonna lie. I don't totally understand. You know, it's a deep game in that way. You have to probably play it for you, probably play it for years. And get strong at it, but I have no clue. I'm playing it now for the first time, and I have no clue what to do. Okay, so. Yeah, right now I'm, I'm attackable right now. This guy is vulnerable. He could multiply this way and grab me up. Or he could jump from here, too, and grab me up. I could jump to there and grab them both up. But then he could just literally take back all of that progress I just did, so that's definitely not a good move. That's not it. It's not on the main page. Huh? This puzzle's definitely infamously hard, though. Huh? Well, that's a drag for a guy like me. I'm not exactly of uh, high intellect. We did a puzzle earlier, uh, Jason, that seemed to be unsolvable. I'm sure if you're a big, fan, big enough fan of this game to confirm or deny that. We were doing a puzzle that uh, we tried to solve for hours, and then a friend said it was impossible to solve. And uh, we tried to uh, reset the puzzle so it was like you know in a solvable state. And it was very very easy, but I found that very hard to believe it could be unsolvable. And yet it seems like that's the consensus. Yeah, I'm about to give up on this guy. It's uh, 3 in the morning. This could be where our playthrough ends. I really don't have the patience to, I think, learn a game this deep all of a sudden. The other puzzles are like, oh yeah, fucking, you know, slide blocks. Oh yeah, this is like literally like a game you could play in China for 3,000 years. I guess a CPU that knows how to play in a pretty serious way, it seems like. That's not it. I could be here, for, again, for weeks trying to learn this puzzle. Three thousand year game, Katie. I could multiply here. Well, I, I'm not sure what I would do, Brian. I'm gonna have to just look up the solution.
But uh, yeah, I really am getting pretty frustrated here. Again, it's really late. Gotta beat the AI, yeah. And we solved it. We solved the unsolvable puzzle, Jason. But the theory was that because it randomizes its state when you start it, that there are situations where it can't be solved. You have to reset it till it's solvable, basically. That's what we did. But it seemed as though the majority of situations they gave us were, by the logic we read, uh, unsolvable. Which means that the only way to solve it would be to, you know, to have a known good, like, to know what it's supposed to look like when you can solve it, and just go for that one. Just keep resetting until you get it. If I had multiplied here, I would take that one. And he could take two of mine back at most. Well, let's just see what happens if I do that. Now I can jump into this corner and take all three. That's what a CPU would do, typically. Right, and if I did that, what would he do? Can I beat the AI? You're right, Katie, you're right. I said look up solution, I meant like look up like, you know, strategies, like how to actually play, like what is the game plan, rather than trying to figure it out myself. So right now I don't really know the game plan. He took two of my guys, I take three of his guys now. And he can't take three of my guys back, right? He could at most take two from here. I can multiply this way, and I would take one, two of his guys. Then he could just take three of my guys. Make the AI dumb. Gotta hack the game apples. Yeah, so I hear I'm at a disadvantage again. Whatever move I make, you can just uh, unmake times two. He can and he will. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure. I got the game is so simple. It goes awry in the first couple moves. There's some level of depth here where uh, I do this, he does that. And then right here is where I lose. I'm not sure in what capacity, I'm not sure how. Something he's doing uh, is really smart and something I'm doing response is really dumb. Avoid the L shape when possible where they can jump and take three seems important, huh? Yeah, he makes L shapes sometimes, but they're out of my reach. When he makes an L, it's out of my reach. I like, can't get to it. But you have to make L shapes, because I have to... He never just goes along one wall, you know what I mean? He always makes an L shape early on. But again, I can't reach it at that point, so that's fine. Because then it makes a block where you can't take three back without making another L shape. Because then it makes a block where you can't take three back. Avoid the L shape when possible, because they can jump and take three seems important. Yeah, if I made an L right here, you jump in and take one, two, three. And here's a split block of four. And yeah, then I can't take them back. Let me make my own L shape. You're right. Go along one wall, Dick. Sure. Here's his L shape, right? He made an L shape. But I made, an, he, I made a, a long piece. He made a, a, a corner piece. That's fine. He's not going to let me get to that spot. Well, what I could do now is start multiplying out in this direction and try to make a like, two-block deep wall. That would secure these guys back here pretty, pretty, pop, pretty good. If he takes that guy up there, you'd think it'd be no big deal, right? 
I mean, I've got more pieces than he does right now, by a little bit. Uh, let's see, I've got one, two, three, I've got seven of them. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six of them. I have eight, in fact. I have eight, and he has six. I haven't even moved yet. Yes, I'm thinking, CPU, I'm making another row. That's my thinking. And maybe I could just, uh, maybe I could just uh, steal him that way. Hypothetically, let's just do it. You want to take my guy? I'll go fuck. That's not it. That ain't it, bro. So this move seems kind of important. I decide where I want to build. If I want to build on this side, or I start building, I keep building this way. Not it. If I were to build right into this spot, he could jump here and grab those ones, but it wouldn't matter if I could just fill in that spot. So this probably makes sense. Right? Whoa! I forgot he could do that. But I can jump over his right here and get those ones back. But he can just jump into this spot then. Wow, okay, again, you lose so fast in this game. I could jump into here and fill in his square shape, fill in his L. He couldn't counterattack me, really. He could kind of a little bit, not really. You can jump so far in this game. If I could jump from if I jump from here to here, I could take those three. But then he could literally jump from here all the way to here. Or from here all the way to there. They can jump uh this far. I can jump from here all the way to here. I have control. I can jump from here all the way to here, all the way to here. It's just crazy. Top middle guy to far left take three. Top middle That's to far it. left. I can't jump that far. I can't jump over two. I can only jump. Uh, I can jump out two spaces, diagonally, or or uh, straight. So I can jump out two spaces here, or two spaces diagonally, or to here. I mean, like it's a it's a huge square I can access, but only two spaces out. That's not it. Protect that L, which this L right here. Like multiply into this spot. I'm just making another L though. He couldn't take quite as many guys. That's true, Dix. I really am. I'm about to hold this L here in a minute, guys. I really am. I, it's already 316. Okay, at least attempt to take three, right? Ah, uh, do I? Or is better to defend? Again, if I... Let's how do I take three, CPU? If I took three by jumping from here to here, right? I would take those three. Then he would just jump from here to here and take my three right back. He wants that spot. This spot right here, I think, right? He would grab, he would grab five of my guys if I let him. I could multiply into that spot, or I could jump from here, too. Or even from this corner. Seems like a pretty unwise move to come out of the corner, though. If I multiply into this spot, he can take whatever three he wants. And we can only take five. He opted to take one instead. Now, why do you think that is? He knows something I don't, right? Good night, J-Bomb. Rest well, dude. 
Yeah, I think you're right, j -Bomb. I think I'm going to uh, probably stop here. It's already three guys. I got a lot of recording to do tonight. I'm probably going to finish this game and then call it quits. Turn to this game at some point, maybe. I can jump as far as from here to here. Take those three. He can multiply back in and take uh, my three against the wall. If he jumped to take the three, he would have left a huge gap in the middle of himself, huh? I think that's what you mean. But I think he can jump into this spot. I should defend this spot now. That's more important than attacking. He gets three. I can multiply. Well, I could jump out of this corner now. That actually might be sensible. If I jumped to this spot, I could take three of his. And he could not reach that corner from that angle. He could take three right back. But there's no logic to that then, right? I might as well just multiply in that spot in that case. Why would I want to jump? Let's say that I multiplied to this spot. I would get one of his. Can he move to the middle of his stack now? I could jump there and take five. And then he could just multiply to this spot and then take all, like what, like an insane number. Like he would take eight. He's taken three uh, of four turns you have to take by multiplying and adding one. Apple, I'm not sure what the hell that means. Yeah, I could jump into here, Katie. And I would take one, two, three, four, five guys in the game and go, wow, what a move, what a move. You're a genius. You got five guys at once. And he would just jump into this spot and take eight of my guys. That's not it. And the game would go, oh, oh, oh. well, ugh, gross. What the fuck? What the, how? Gross. I think my only move uh, defensively is to multiply into this spot. Whatever else I do is going to leave up too much, too many open spaces. <laughs> right. And now I can. No, I can't jump. I mean, you can jump so far in this game. If I were to leave this spot empty by jumping to here, yeah, I would get these three. But you could literally jump from here all the way to there. That's wild. You can jump so four. Do do de do. So I have to jump now. I'm totally boxed in. So no matter where I jump from, he's gonna take back more than I take from him. That's kind of where we're at. I can take five right there, and he can take eight. Or I can jump to here and take three. Then he could jump to there and take uh, five. That'd be fucked. <laughs> On the left side, if you jump and take three, I don't think you can jump I'm to the spot you left. Again. Right here? And take three? Yeah, you jump from right here. You just go bloop. Want to see? <laughs> oh, he chose not to. Okay, well... Yeah, he can jump from here to here if he wanted to. Do, 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 do. 
Oh my god. You have to take those ones. Well, what's cool is that now I can multiply into this spot. Um, that'd give me three of his. But then he just jumped into the other spot. He wants to get three right back. But sure, whatever. Hi right, guys, it's been a pleasure uh, streaming this tonight. This is pretty frustrating. But again, you can play this game probably for years and get really good at it. But I've got other games I gotta play. On Friday, we're doing Mod Record, guys. It's gonna be Hoot and a Half. Looking forward to that. So again, I could jump here and take five. Pretty good formation there. I would close an L. And then he would uh, jump into this spot. He would take one, two, three, four, five right back. I mean, I'd take five, you take five, uh, okay? It's not the worst thing in the world. It wasn't bad as it was, right? Three plus one is greater than three taken, says apples. Not sure what that means. Plus three plus one apples. Great move. So we can get five right back. Should I have done that? Oh my gosh. I feel like we spent a lot of time in this game to get cooked like this, huh? Maybe you're right, Brian. But that's life. So if I were to jump here, I could take one, two, three, four, five, but he really couldn't take as many back, right? I'd have a little bucket for me to take. Oh, there would be a bucket there. Yeah, he would actually be able to take more than that back. Yes. Never mind. If I were to multiply into this spot, one, two, three, four, five, he'd have this spot right here. He would then move into this spot, he would jump or wherever, or multiply, or whatever the case would be, and he would take uh, one, two, three, four, five, six back. I would trade one more for nothing. Boom, 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 boom. I could uh, jump from here to here, hypothetically speaking, or from here to here. I was top left. What about top left apples? Talk to me, girl. Talk to me. What do I need to do? What's the move? What do you want? Jump and take four, top left. In right here. I need to jump from here to here. Take those four. It's like a pretty good move to me. That move kind of makes sense. I would take one, two, three, four. And they could take one, two, three back at most. I think. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Interesting move. It's like jumping when you don't have many guys around you is a good play. Maybe. That does seem like seem sensible. Your guys, yeah. Because then they can't take that many back, right? Or even if, let's say, like this guy, right? Basically, it seems as though if you have guys that are side by side, uh, it might be good wise to, like, minimize that, right? So it maybe makes sense to kind of, like, those guys might be jumpers, basically. Shout out to Third Eye Blind. That says multiply mid right. So maybe what Brian's saying is that the board's already too filled with green for me to even be able to win this. Multiply middle right. If I did that, I would get five of his guys. And then he could take five of my guys back at most into the hole. Yeah. And I would get five guys at one, two, three, four, five, and I get a sixth one there. He would multiply from here to here and get one, two, three, four, five guys, and he'd have a sixth one there. So this would be all green at that point. You have a big green block. I would get six only. I wouldn't take six. I would, I would 
take five of his plus one, right? Maybe you're right, Brian. But it's like life, dude. Life always ends. But it doesn't mean what you do during it doesn't matter. Do you disagree with that, Apples? Want me to multiply this guy into this spot? Is that you're saying? Multiply him into here? That would give me one of my own guys to be multiplied. That'd be one. Then I would take one, two, three, four, five. Then he would multiply from here into here. And he would take one, two, three, four, five. So he'd also get six. And then he'd have a big impenetrable block for me to deal with. Pretty crazy CPU, it really is. Fucking Final Fantasy Tactics, bro. Final Fantasy Tactics. I could multiply here and take one. I would get two. Then he would probably finally jump over here. Maybe? That wouldn't be very wise, though. He'd leave a big opening. He couldn't do that. I think the corner is safe. I just realized CPU, right? All he can do to get in the corner is jump from here to here. He would take those three. Then I could just multiply from here to here. And I would take four. So he can't take this corner without giving me an opening to get more back. He can also jump from here, I realize. He could jump from here into here, too. And then uh, I wouldn't be able to fuck with him. That's sort of what he should do, right? He would then take three and have the corner. This would be an open spot for me to fill myself. I would multiply into it and take two. So uh, at this point, he can basically... Uh, this is the end of the game, right? At this point, let's say I did multiply into here, right? He could take both these guys and end my initiative over here, or he could take both these guys and my initiative over here. The only thing he could do otherwise would be to multiply here and take this guy. Which he might want to, who knows. It's like reversey, more complicated than that. So Apples and CPU are both reversey players. If I were to uh, go here, as an L shape, though, you can multiply at an angle and take the three and complicate the board, huh? Where? Multiply at an angle and take the three? Oh, I see. Yeah, right there. Yeah, that would give me those three. And he would spawn in from here to here. And he would take. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so I spawn here, and it makes one, two, three, four in a group. I would take three, but I'd have a uh, formation of four, basically. He would take four back. Well, let's do at least it. Who cares? It's late. He finally decides to go do that. So, um... Now I can uh, multiply this way, if I wanted to, and grab that. But he could still jump... No, there'd be no empty spot. I could try and fill this hole so you can get those two, but I mean, it's just two. Who cares at this point? Sorry, guys. The game bugs out once in a while with the audio. Maybe someone pulled it for too long, it glitches out. Hmm. Do, 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 do. If the game wants it to end, yeah, I think we're going to end it right about here, guys. It's going on. It's actually already past 3.30. That's crazy. That's crazy how time flies. They're trying to solve these puzzles. Okay, multiply that way. I could get three there, and then uh, I'd be unfuckwithable, right? If I were to go here and get those three... Uh, well, this spot's still open. He could just take four right there at will. It's probably best to leave that hole there then, so we can only take two at most of my guys. 
I should fill that hole then, huh? That most of can only take three at most out of four. Yeah, let's do that. Seems like the move. Oh, he's going to take four after all. But he did also leave a big opening there that I could multiply into. That would give me one, two, three, four, five, six. And I have a seven there, too. Uh, then he could fill this spot. And he would get uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then six. So this seems like a pretty good move to make, right? Multiply into this spot. I'm getting baited. Ooh, hang on. I can also jump from here to here. I could jump from here to here and get all five of those and leave the empty spot right there. They could only, if you multiply that, you could only get two mo at most. That seems like it might be the move, right? I can get five, but the most you could get would be three back. I think that's what Apple's wants me to do right here. From top to middle, yeah. Slur, slur, slur. Music still glitched out. Okay, so now I can multiply into here and get that six I wanted the first time. Right? That would be there. Multiply there, and then he could fill this spot, and he would get one, two, three, four, five back. And he had made six. It's a pretty good move. Yes. As I said, middle. I went to the middle apple. Okay. So I can fill this hole now and I get one, two, three. The middle or middle? That seems like a pretty good move. He could, that would give me one, two, three. Then he could jump across and take any three he wanted. In fact, the smart thing to do is then you just kind of block me out. Oh, I forgot they could jump that far. So he always gets me, dude. Get those far ass jumps. Well, I probably want to fill this hole here then. I think I might be fucked, Dix, indeed. It's been a pleasure. Very tiring stream for a very tiring night ahead of me still. Okay, so I probably want to go to, like, here for the final move of the game. This is Could have been worse. Hmm, this is trickier than I thought. Good night, guys. Been a pleasure. I'll see you guys on Friday with some Magic Record. Until then, peace out. Not tomorrow, guys. I don't know if that's tomorrow, but the, the break screen lies. Apple's like, jump, jump, everybody jump. It's hanging out, dicks. This game became very frustrating. Thank you for all your advice, CPU3S. Hey, the music got fixed. Let's exit in the puzzle this time. I think we learned a lot, Katie, about the, how that game works. But I don't think we haven't learned enough. Sounds like, uh, from what uh, Jason said in the chat, it's one of those puzzles that he said he comes by the stream just to watch people try and solve that puzzle. It seems it's going to be one of those puzzles. It's like an all-time hard puzzle, I think. It's going to be a puzzle that you can, you can probably work on for weeks and weeks and weeks and never be able to solve. And I just don't have that kind of time, unfortunately. The other games i got to play. It's a very deep game. You could just sell it as its own game, probably. If you want to kick yourself in the balls. Oh, the fat man. My night begins now, guys. It's going to be a long, long, long night of recording Magia. Once Friday's stream is over, I'll finally be free. We're going to watch the servers die together on Friday for Magia record, and then there'll be no more of this nonsense. Damn. I'll have so much time to myself between the streams, it'll be crazy. <laughs> Of course, there's plenty of other things to do. There's plenty of other things I gotta get done. Between streams, I gotta get back to doing YouTube work, for instance. 
Because I feel empty. That's the way it goes, Brian. It won't be the first time somebody has you know, played a game like this that's so hard and gotten to a point they can't get past and had to quit. You have to take the last ones as apples. In the in middle spaces, you want to move first into three spots that are isolated. I don't think Apples can probably win this pretty easily. She's got the tech. She's a reversey player. Yeah, let's say that I took another stream to play this game, Brian, but on another Friday, for instance, let's say Friday night, and played it again for you know three straight hours or six straight hours and couldn't beat it. Then we had to play it again the following week, you know, for another six hours and couldn't beat it. That's a possibility that uh, is not worth risking for a game like this. It's been a lot of fun. I would have loved to beaten it. And maybe I will one day, but as a something that consumes time on the stream, I'm so late on it. Uh, I think for a puzzle that's notoriously difficult, I feel like it would be uh, it would be a pretty big investment of stream time, and I don't really enjoy it to be honest. I was very fun, very frustrating. Oh my god, dude! Oh, my hip Green AI too strong. Yeah, Katie plays speed chess, as people say. People never get tired of that metaphor. Hey, never, guys, look up the solution to the other puzzle. We wouldn't even gotten this far, to be honest. Can you imagine trying to solve that last puzzle without looking it up? Not knowing it was unsolvable? That's just the way it goes in the game like this sometimes. If you resolve to not look it up, uh, then you're probably never going to get past this point. In this case, you know, it's a game that, even if you do look it up, it's a game that's, uh, you know, competitive. Both players have, you know, equal tools. And I have to simply beat the AI, which is, again, notoriously hard, I guess. Pretty strong AI. So I need to learn how to play, probably between streams. I need to, you know, read about, you know, the different tactics involved and that sort of thing. And then I would need to, you know, hope to be able to beat the AI on top of that. When this game came out back in, you know, the year 93, before we had, you know, wide access to the internet, for instance. And people weren't probably, you know, that probably wasn't that many resources on how to, you know, how to play this game from strong players. You can imagine a lot of people probably as far as they got. Towards fear session we just boom. Good game, Kyo. That's so much meter. I know you'd say it and it still didn't have a response ready, huh? In my head. So much meter. I played three S. Beep 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 dee 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 dee. Shout out to Digsucker for the solution for the Tad puzzle, the Get Boy Tad. Speaking of unsolvable puzzles, guys, what a stupid puzzle that was. If only because, how are you supposed to know that kid's name is Tad? The only way to know is to uh, have heard it in one cutscene. They, they do. They mention it very offhandedly, his name is Tad. And, uh... Or look it up. Again, the, the, the game has a a built-in hint giver. You can get hints from the game itself. Yes, and that might tell you eventually that his name is Tad. But it's still pretty dumb. I, mean, I, I kind of feel like, you know, they oh, should be solvable. Oh, shit, that's you! Without having to use in game hints. <laughs> wow. Our case wow. was spoiled for us. I think it was Katie that spoiled it. That, that says, get so boy, Tad. That. The game itself doesn't really give you much of a hint that's what you're supposed to do. It was a damn cool game, right? Indeed it was. Very cool game. I'm looking at the, a frozen screenshot of it right now, and it looks great. High res, beautiful graphics, cool theme. The plot kind of sucks. I kind of feel like it's kind of cringy how they kind of take the cutscenes kind of seriously, it seems like. And yet they're so incomprehensible. But they are a fitting reward, though. I mean, they're so over the top, it's very much, very rewarding to, uh, to get a new one. I'm thinking I'm done with that apple. Since I want to come back to it someday, uh, you know, for next Halloween. And use maybe try the in-game guide. The game has a hint giver. They might give you some strategies for this puzzle. It might say, "Oh, like you said apples. Oh, you don't want to leave a three spots of this like this. You want to jump across there." The game has a built-in hinter giver.
But yeah, again, I maintain this puzzle seems the kind of puzzle that you're meant to learn over the course of some amount of time, and I just don't have that kind of time. Should be about the AIs as apples. Boop, boop. Beep, boop. Maybe I'll feel better later, guys. Again, I really want to stress I'm under a lot of pressure right now. I want to make it very clear to you guys that uh, for this entire stream, I've been very, very on edge. I and mean, even for this whole week, I've been very on edge about my record. It could be that once I'm done with my record at the end of this week, I'll say, wow, I have all the time in the world to care about so Seventh Guest. I'll spend some time between streams reading about Seventh Guest and trying to get good at it. The I don't mind the booty. Yeah. But the way it feels lately, I really feel like I don't want to fuck with absolutely anything between well, streams that, that relates to the, you know, the stream itself. There's so much going on between streams and so insofar as, you know, YouTube work and, you know, uh, whatever else. Right now, Maji record. I feel like it's at the very bottom of my priority list to get strong and to Seventh Guest. That AI's name, Bill Clinton. I was like, you can skip puzzles, by the way. I think I remember that. Yeah, maybe well, I'll find KDs. Once I have my mind's in a different state, you know, psychologically, once I have this thing, this monkey off my back, I'll be way more laid back about coming back to a game like this. As it stands, there's things like, you know, Mario Kart coming up. There's things like, you know, Metroid 2 I want to do. The there's, of course, uh, uh, Majora's Mask still frustrating me. I'm trying to play through more of the Uncharted games. Pizza and a movie's coming up. We haven't done that in a while. It's one of those things where finding time for something like this is, again, kind of difficult. Well, this is the final night, essentially, KD, right? Not, not really the final night. I consider that, Brian and just stream just stream the uh like you know right before it goes offline like come on for a couple hours like come on at midnight and come on just to get more sleep and i may yet do that that's definitely not i'm taking it's not off the table apple did you drown a monkey 